Well, welcome back to Morning Extra. Well, they're known as one of the flagship bands of the progressive metal movement, and they're from right here in Connecticut. And tonight, they're back here at home for a special show here in Hartford. I'm joined now by Ray Alder, Jim Mateo, and Mike Abdo from Fate's Warning. Guys, thanks for being with us, and Thank welcome you. home. Thank you. Thanks. Now, tell us first off about how you guys came together back in 1982, right? Around 1982, the band formed, and it's gone through many lineup changes. Uh, I joined actually in 1987, and I've been with them ever since. Mm -hmm. And um, Mike is filling in for our other guitar player, Frank Arresti, who's not able to make the tour. Mm -hmm. And um, here we are nowadays. And you guys, so far, you have 11 albums out. 11 right? albums. A couple of those are live. You know, <clears throat> tell us what the inspiration was for this most recent album. Well, it's actually our first album in nine years. Uh, we've been doing different projects, and uh, this time we actually decided to get together and, and finish doing everything we were doing and just make an album for Fate's Warning. And we worked on it for two years, and we're finally here. So. Oh. You're so, sort of categorized as progressive metal. For people who may not be familiar with that term, you know, how would you describe your own metal, and, and, and what uh, musicians do you look to for inspiration? You know, it's, it's funny. Like, uh, when I was younger, of course, I listened to a lot of heavy metal, and uh, now it's, uh, I mean, I listen to bands like, you know, Elbow and <laughs> different mm -hmm. things like that mm -hmm. now. But uh, as far as metal, I mean, I think we're uh, almost more of just a progressive rock band, I mm -hmm. think, at this point. Mm -hmm. Not to dismiss anybody, but I think that's where we are at this stage. Right. So yeah. what are maybe a couple of the bands that you listen to right now that you're kind of Whew, honestly, inspired by? <laughs> inspired by? Yeah. Um, that's really hard to say. I, I try not to let that get into my head. I just kind of, whatever I feel is what we do, mm -hmm. I think. All right, well, so you have a show tonight at 7 o'clock here in Hartford. Mm -hmm, the Webster. And that must be exciting for you, you know, to be back here in your hometown. It is funny. I mean, it all actually, started. Uh, we're all started, and it's funny. None of us actually live here anymore. So, um, and, and I'm actually from Texas, now we live in L.A., and I was living here for about a year and a half when I moved back to mm -hmm. Texas. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, now everybody's just kind of gone out of Connecticut, and, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll be back good to see old friends. All right, well, the show's at 7 o'clock tonight at the Webster Theater. You're going to play Firefly mm -hmm. for us right now. What's the story behind that song? Um, well, I think uh, it was a relationship that just kind of went south for uh -huh. me. Uh, it was a way to... Um, sort of a breakup ballad? Yeah, sort of express myself. Yeah. But, you know, one of those things that you're often on relationships that you just, you know, it's just not... It's just not healthy. So it was a good uh, a way to write about it for me. It was good. All right, guys. Well, just another reminder for all our viewers, the show is tonight here in Hartford. Tickets are still available. And uh, I'm going to step out of the way, and you're going to play us out into the break with Firefly. Wonderful. Thanks for being here, guys. Sure.